Hello everybody and welcome back to A Royal Reader. My name is Cece and today we're going to be doing my April TBR. So if you are new and this is the first video that you are seeing of me, hello, hi, um, please subscribe so you can see more videos like this. But this is my a TBR game that I have created. I use a d20 dice and each of the numbers has a prompt that I have to fill out for the month. So going on from, no I said April TBR didn't I? This is my May TBR. Going on from my April TBR, these were all of the books that I had to read and I can safely say I have almost oh! I can safely say I have almost completed my entire TBR. I am just 150 so pages through Amari and the Knight Brothers and I am definitely going to be finishing this today. This is the 29th so I'm going to finish this by the end of the month but that means that I don't have to do a punishment for the month which is awesome. Um, so yes I have completed all of these and if you would like to see my thoughts on all of these do check out my April wrap up. So that being said let's get into the rolls for May. Jeez I don't know what I don't know what days are. Right, here we go roll number one. We have a 17. So roll number one got us a 17, which is the prompt call the friend. So I had my roommate come into my room and he literally just stuck his hand out and ran his hand across the bookshelves and picked out a book that he thought I would read. Um, and the one that he actually chose is his own copy, but I had it on my bookshelves because I was sneaky like that. Um, and the one that he has chosen is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I'm super excited to read this. I have heard nothing but good things about it. He also really enjoyed it, so I cannot wait. This is also kind of chunky, which I wasn't expecting. It's almost five, 450, 450 pages, which is a little bit big but that's okay so essentially from what I know about this is that it's a sort of winterland folklore Russian inspired fantasy that's pretty much all I know um, I know it follows a girl called Vasya who can see these sort of like spirits that encompass her town and when her father remarries the wife brings into the town a priest and the priest starts preaching about uh, Christianity I think and the people of the town start to believe more in that religion than their original religion which then makes the household spirits and stuff start to act up and be bad or something or other. Either way I've heard amazing things about this and I cannot wait to start it. Roll number two. We have, I believe that is, whoop, I think that's a six. So we have a six. So the next roll got us a number six, which is start a new series or complete a series. And obviously you guys know, I have been doing my reread of A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass, so I can finally finish the series um, or in, well, at least complete what has been published already. Um, luckily last month I did actually finish A Court of Wings and Bruin, which was insane. I loved it. So I am moving on to A Court of Frost and Starlight. This is a little novella. Um, this is set sometime between when um, A Court of Silver Flames starts. So I am excited to read this. Roll number three. We have another 17. The third roll got us another call a friend prompt and so I had my sister come in and she sort of scoured my shelves for me and decided that the one that I'm going to be reading is The Witcher. So this is The Last Wish which is essentially 
like 0 0.5 in the series. Um, this is what the first season of The Witcher, the Netflix series, is based off. So I am excited to finally get to this book. I I know a lot of people really like this. Um, I also think that this is a set of short stories. I'm not entirely too sure, but yes, I am excited to finally read this. I absolutely loved the TV show. I really want to get my hands on the uh, Switch edition of the uh, video game, so uh, it's going to be amazing. I can just tell. Um, I don't really know how to explain the Witcher series, um, but essentially the Witcher is this man called uh, Geralt of Rivia. He is sort of like a monster hunter. There was this group of children, I guess, who just have like different blood to uh, normal humans and they have these sort of powers that just allow them to be better and bigger than normal humans and it's their jobs to try and sort of eradicate them from the world so you know humans can live safely and I believe he is the last one of his kind I'm not entirely too sure don't hold me to that um and somehow he ends up teaming up with a witch called Yennefer of Bangabur or something or other and there is also a young girl called uh Siri my phone didn't go off but that's good um so yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is about, but either way, I'm excited. Roll number four. Oop. We have a number eight. So, fourth roll got us a number eight, which is a new one that we haven't had before. Um, and number eight is a sci fi adult book. So, the one that I have picked is going to be Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin. Mur. I really just butchered that, didn't I? I don't know too much about this, but I know that it's probably bloodthirsty and there is also lesbians involved, I think. Um, but I think Gideon is a necromancer and it's something about uh, a bunch of trials being held across the different houses that sort of rule the different planets in the system. I really don't know. Um, it's the only sci-fi fantasy that is adults that I have on my shelf, so it's the only one that fit the prompt. Roll number five. We have a number ten. So the fifth roll got us a fantasy adult book. So I just from everything that you guys were telling me from my, my adult fantasy books that I wanted to read, I just knew I had to pick this book up. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, part one. You guys, I am terrified because this book is like huge. I also don't know why it's bent, but, but everything you guys were saying really made me want to pick this up. So I decided to put it on the TBR and I just cannot wait to start this. Like I said before, I don't know too much about this. Um, from what I know, there was a treaty that was meant to be signed between two neighbouring kingdoms and either the day of the signing or the day after the signing of the treaty, one of the kings of the kingdoms is killed. Uh, I'm not too sure if it was a murder or not, but yeah, and then there's just a bunch of people. I'm sure once I start reading this, I'll have an actual explanation, but so far this is what I'm picking. And roll number six should be the final roll. We have, oh, number one, which means we have to roll again. So, roll number six again, well technically roll number seven for our sixth book is number 13. And then what was supposed to be our last read um, ended up not being it because I rolled a one which means I have to add a book. So this was our second last pick and that was going to be number 13 which is a sci-fi but for YA. So I decided to pick up ooh, The Cries War by Nina Varela. This is a obviously sci-fi 
Um, this is where we have sort of like robots that are called Automene. Autome? Autome. Um, and they have just like taken over the kingdom and they're the ones that are ruling now and the humans are sort of just become servants and stuff. And we have um, our main characters who are Isla? Ayla? I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. But we have Ayla who is a human servant and she is just dying to go and kill the sort of like princess Autome um, called Lady Cryer. Um, and then we have obviously the second main character who is going to be the princess Lady Cryer. Um, she is sort of just preparing to be, you know, the next ruler and um, then she meets Ayla and they fall in love. I'm guessing. I don't really know. That's about as much as I know of this book but I have heard really good things about this book and I know that a lot of people really enjoyed it so I am excited to pick it up. I haven't read a lot of sci-fi as of late so I am excited to read this. Roll number eight which is our final roll if we get another one. Oh, oh, we have a number three. And then we have the last book that I have on my TBR for the month of May. Um, and that was to pick a manga or a comic. And I decided to go to my sister's shelves because she's the manga reader in the family. Not me. I do have to start doing that, especially if I keep rolling these number threes. But the one that I have decided to pick up is Sherlock, the manga. So this is, I'm guessing, just a manga version of the BBC adaption of Sherlock. So we have Mr. Benedict Cumberbatch on the front and uh, Mr. John... Martin Freeman. <laughs> John Freeman. Um, so this is the first book which is called A Study in Pink and it is just the case of that. This is going to be my first time actually reading a comic I think. So I am excited. So this is my stack for May. I am a little bit terrified, not gonna lie. I have a lot of my assignments that are due in this month. Um, and I am a little bit behind on them because anxiety and depression stuff up your life sometimes. So I am a little bit scared that I'm not going to complete them all, but I plan on doing another 24 hour reading challenge again so I can smash out some of these. Uh, so yeah. If you guys enjoy this video, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up button to let me know you enjoyed. If you have read any of these, then please don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. If you have any suggestions for any other videos, then do be sure to let me know as well. If you would like to follow me on any of my social medias, I have my Twitter and my Instagram always linked down in the description box below for you to have a look at. So do go ahead and check those out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. And I will see you soon in another video soon.